welcome to the world, everybody. So, um, we had to go do some shopping in the world and we went to Walmart and I got a lot of stuff and some of it's cool stuff, some of it's fun stuff, some of it's just stuff we needed around the house like milk and five quarts of oil for his car, which is out in his car and the milk's in the fridge. But I wanted to show you some of the stuff I got in kind of like a Walmart haul, which I know it's really, really silly, but I'm really excited about some of the things we got. And he's really excited about some of the things we got. One of the... <laughs> <laughs> Fine, then I'm keeping your sunglasses. No, I want my sunglasses, please. Uh, see, see, you're excited. So, the first thing being... Oh, now I can see. We got these sunglasses. They are Piranha sunglasses because he has none. And um, he really wanted some of these. were the ones that kind of fit his head best and they look best on him. And he liked them because they are, like, super dark. Like, super, super dark. So there are your sunglasses. And then we also got, because I was dehydrated, water in Pepsi, because he's addicted to soda. So there you go. I'm actually open this up, take a drink. <sighs> water. Because I'm pretty sure I am part fish. Um, and of course, the, like the main reason we went was because we had to pick up my inhaler because I am an asthmatic and if I can't have this, I can't breathe and then bad things happen. Bad things happen when you can't breathe, breathe folks. Um, and then we got me some fruit snacks because as you all know, I am secretly five and I can't not. Um, and... Some of this stuff might seem irrelevant to some of you. Believe it or not, this is stuff that we actually needed. And I can go into explanations of why we needed it, if that's necessary, but I kind of don't feel like it's necessary. Uh, the next thing that we're going to pull out of our mystical, magical Walmart bag is this Singer Measure and Mark set because I'm going to be making some masks and... I needed marking pencils and they literally had no like just plain individual marking pencils. I had to get it in a set with a tape measure, which like I don't mind because I am literally blind and so having a tape measure with giant numbers is super helpful for me. Um, and then another thing that we got from a honey is he needed some new, ow, ow, he needed some new like tennis shoes. Uh, this is his favorite kind that he gets. He says they are very comfortable. They are both leather and mesh. Um, I don't know if they're like man-made leather or... Uh, I don't know. They're 13 wides. They're memory foam. They're his favorite summer shoe. And he will literally wear them until they die. And believe me, they will die. I mean, it'll be a while before they die, but they will die. We also got one of these because I'm really, really tired of having to find somewhere to put toilet paper, whether it be under the sink and then you can't reach it when you need it because not everyone else in this house changes the roll or behind the toilet and it gets knocked off by the cat. So I just kind of want something nice and succinct that I can put my toilet paper in and my cat won't kill it. And I've also got... Benadryl because allergies. Granted, it's off-brand Benadryl, but Benadryl is Benadryl. I also got, because I am going to be doing a drugstore makeup video in the future, um, I got the Breakproof Waterproof Retractable Gel Eyeliner in Blackest Black by Wet n Wild. And I got the Wet n Wild Felt Tip Eyeliner in Fine Tip. This is tiny. Uh, smudge Proof Ultimate Control. It says it applies easily. I don't know. I've never used it. Really hope I got Yep, and I got it in black. And it's like smaller than my hand. So those are also things I got. And more water. 
now to the things I'm a little bit more excited about. Well, okay, no, one more thing that like I'm kind of excited about, but it's also a necessity. Actually, we'll do the big things first. We'll do the big things and then we'll finish the bag. The next thing I need because I'm going nuts and I need to organize my house more, specifically my bathroom, is we got one of these over the toilet like shelf things that so that I can have a place to put folded up towels or knickknacks or <laughs> makeup or you know all of that just to kind of give me a little bit more shelving because we don't have a whole lot of shelving in our bathroom um, and this will actually be the home for my new hair dryer because on its own my hair can take anywhere from 12 to 24 if not longer hours to dry and I decided that's getting really really frustrating so I got the Remington Pro Pearl which has a removable ill filter that's got a hang loop which is really nifty three heat settings two speed settings a cool shot um, high length cord it's also got a diffuser and a concentrator included and it's like this really pretty color. So we're going to kind of see how that goes. I'll let you guys know what I think about that. Um, just like when I try new makeup like this, guys, I'll let you guys know what I think about it. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to save these for my drugstore makeup video or if I'm going to probably open them up sooner. Um, my eyeliner is kind of starting to die, so they might get opened up sooner. But we will find out. I got some regular all-purpose 100% black polyester thread and not many of you guys know this but it is a thing I am actually immunocompromised so and I've been running around without a mask and we decided that's probably not the smartest decision on our part um, so I got some fabric to make some masks um, I really wanted this like really pretty pink fabric that's got like moons and wind and stars and little butterflies um and realistically that's not a very manly brain manly fabric and you guys my walmart had oh so few bolts of fabric and the bolts of fabric that were there had like next to nothing like selection wise and they were all almost empty like i got one of like this pink one had probably like three yards on it and i got one yard because I want to make multiple masks. Um, but I told him to pick one. And so he picked this like print kind of thing. Like to me, it kind of looks like an animal print, but it's also like really abstract. Um, but it's the one he wanted because the rest of them were like baby fabrics and like hearts and ladybugs and fun flowers. <laughs> and he's like, uh, no. So he picked that one, I picked that one, I'm going to end up making some masks, which is what the thread's for, so that when I'm going out, I'm like a little bit more protected. I know, don't at me you guys, I know that wearing a mask won't protect me, but I also know the CDC does recommend wearing one, whether you're sick or not, because it helps keep your germs and your saliva and all of that to yourself, and that seems like a really smart decision for me especially because right around this time of year is when I start to get laryngitis um and so I know I'm gonna start sounding insane whether I catch any virus or not um just because of the allergies and the pollen I will start to sound like Minnie Mouse over the next couple of weeks if not over the next month and if I'm not careful with that it can go really bad really fast or I just sound like Minnie Mouse for forever uh, a couple years back I sounded like Minnie Mouse, Mouse like straight into June all the way into June so I figured this would be helpful. Um, and back to my Walmart being like bare shelved when it came to fabric and sewing things, there was no elastic at all. Anywhere. Nope. So what I did is I got these headbands, which are elastic, and I'm going to use those. Well, I'm going to try to use those to, like, keep the masks on. I don't know if it's going to work that way, but we're going to try. We got a blue one, a yellow one, and a pink one. 
So we're going to see what's going to happen with that. Um, and then, guys, I'm excited about this. So I wear slippers around my house. Um, but I have to be really picky about my slippers because my feet are really picky. Um, because if I'm on my feet for too long or if I get sick or if my allergies flare up and my body decides it wants to think that my allergies are a virus, um, uh, my body starts to freak out. Also, guys, I spent, um... $9.94 on my fabric. They were both $4.97 a yard. I got a yard of each. But the thing that I'm like most excited about, these are slippers, you guys. These are slippers. And they are faux fur. And they are pink. And they are flip flops. I saw these a couple of weeks ago and I was like, baby, when we get a bigger check, I need to get a pair of those. I need to get a pair of those. I also got myself some black flip flops that have like bejeweled over the, the, over the foot part. Um, but those are not over here right now. They're over by my door. But, um, I got mine in the size 910. Uh, they are 997. They are memory foam. They've got like hard bottom and they are so soft oh my gosh they are so soft so super excited about these these are going to be my winter my winter my winter slippers and the last thing I got you guys so I was talking about this on my TikTok um a couple of days ago because and you will see more of this um I'm, I have a Dollar Tree haul coming up um as soon as I finish finding everything I need at Dollar Tree I have one more Dollar Tree I have to go to tomorrow for a couple more things that the one I went to today didn't have. And then I'll go ahead and get that up for you guys. But, so this other thing that I got, I'm super excited about. I know I'm like really, really late to the party here, but I am going nuts. You guys, you guys. So I'm just going to grab the bag and I'm going to turn my full attention to you. I'm not going to open it yet because I'm going to do a whole video on my first opening. I got. So it's not technically my first first ever because I bought two others when I was at Dollar Tree um, last week sometime. But it's going to be the first one I'm going to open because I can't not. So the brand is Crazy Art, um, and I'm, I, I'm, I got slime, very specifically, oop, wrong way, I got glitter slime. You guys look at the glitter. So if you guys didn't know this and you probably didn't know this about me I'm very like touch oriented if something is soft or like textured uh, it's very satisfying to me for lack of a better term and so slime is something I've always been fascinated with and I've become more and more fascinated with it as I've seen more about it <sighs> sorry um and I've seen like videos of people mixing their own colors. I've seen videos of people like folding slime, combining slimes, adding slimes, making slime. And I'm like, I am missing out on so much fun. And at first I was like, okay, you know what? It's just, it's just slime. But the more I watched it, I was like, okay, I have to try this. So we're going to try it. And I'm so excited. I am like, what? so, so excited. So you guys stay tuned for that. Cause that's probably going to be my next video is me opening and playing with my first ever slime. I just don't know yet if I want to like focus on the slime when I do it or focus on my face because I know I'm going to make a lot of weird faces. So I'll figure that out. But, um, and also I'm not wearing any makeup today because it was kind of a last minute rush out the door and I've been wearing my big old red sunglasses like 
all day <laughs> because we woke up late and we were like, oh no, we've got to go before the pharmacy closes. So we like just ran. So that's why I'm not wearing makeup, which is why there's no look today. Um, and so on that note, it was wonderful to see you guys. Look forward to my slime video. Be kind to one another. Be the change you want to see in the world. I learned this one on my stream the other day. I'm going to start using this one too. Hashtag be happy. And remember, one of my favorite, where did my mouse go? Losing everything. And remember, one of my favorite new things to say after hashtag be happy, because I'm going to say that all the time, is a smile is infectious. See you soon.